I remember Jeff Curry back from back in 1996, and uh, he had a great junior team and won the Canadian Junior Championship. So we knew we were in for a fight, and uh, and uh, you know we played a little better this game, a little more solid team effort, and uh, it was a little bit easier on us. Just uh, nice to get a couple peels and just get some some uh, you know a full range of shots under our belt. So. Um, and the ice was, you know, the ice was a little bit more consistent tonight. So, yeah, good start. And, and uh, you know, to be 2-0 after, you know, playing Alberta and Northern Ontario, you got to be happy with that. And we got to make sure we, we build on that uh, going into to Sunday. Feels good. We had a couple scares in that game. We had a few breaks on uh, Jamie's last one's not quite working out the way they hope. So, especially in uh, nine, there chance we could have blown a three-point lead in a hurry. So it was nice to sneak out of that with only giving up two. When you've controlled the whole game, you don't want to come down uh, by a point for the last end. But uh, uh, it was a tough shot. We, as much as my mine didn't turn out well, it actually did roll to a lucky spot. So. It uh, felt fantastic. We, uh, we played well. I uh, got uh, my mojo going out there. It was uh, it was good. We, uh, we all felt pretty comfortable. The speed was good. The ice was very consistent. Uh, Exactly what you'd expect from uh, from the Briar. Being from Ontario does carry, you know, you know, Glenn's era for for the past uh, eight years. But because I'm a rookie here, and um, I don't really feel a whole lot of pressure for for myself and the team, we're just uh, happy to be here, and we're very uh, excited to be out there. And like, what an atmosphere out there! It was just awesome, and uh, we're just. We're just hoping to scrap out some games. My first guard, and we got fortunate he boinked it. So we were going to draw probably uh, half in the top four, and I th let it go. The guy said, good weight, and it just ground in. And, uh, you know, to be 10 feet shorter than the guard I just threw was a little surprising. And then he went a little wider, and we thought, well, maybe he's going to be in better stuff out there. He lets it go. It looked like he threw it hard, and it had no chance to make even the house. And uh, it's too bad. I mean, I guess that side of the sheet got lost somehow, but... Uh, you know, we'll take it. We got one. We had one in there, and uh, he missed both his last his last two shots. So, what are you going to do? I mean, it's it disappointing just because, you know, obviously I would have liked to have made it really hard on him. And then, you know, he's got to bite the forefoot. He, Brad usually doesn't miss those like most of these guys out here. And uh, to be 15 feet short, and mine, I was like 20 feet short. So he probably knew he had to pump it up, and it still it wasn't going to be close. That's up to the guys. We hung in there. I mean, we had great opportunities in uh, eight and. Just came, drawn just came deep, otherwise we're looking like we might get a two or a three ender for sure, and uh, he ended up getting a steal. So we uh, battled back, and like I said, we had a few uh, missed opportunities, that's for sure.